here is the closet. But does a girl really need this many pieces of clothing? Guys, this looks so much better. Good morning. I hope you guys are in the organized spirit because today we are back in the bedroom for only one reason and that is to organize my closet for fall. If you know anything about this channel, you know I love all things fall so I am just beyond excited to really get into my closet and just clear out everything I didn't wear this summer, this spring, and things that just really aren't my taste for the upcoming season. We are going to be extremely ruthless today because spoiler I'm hoping within the next year 2024 Tristan and I will be renovating our closet and that excites me even more but I almost want to use this video as a preparation for me just to have a really clean minimal space so we're just getting rid of everything that truly does not put a smile on my face hopefully this video inspires some of you to clean out your own closet space or maybe it's just a form of satisfactory or entertainment because let's be honest when I watch other people clean their spaces it just makes me feel like I was productive myself anyone anyone have that same feeling all right and with that said I am grabbing a Celsius at 9 a.m. in the morning could be a bad idea could be a good idea we shall see but uh, let's just say mama needs a little bit of energy this morning. So cheers to that. And if you want more videos like this one, definitely don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Let me show you the mess that is indeed my closet. Let's go. And here is the closet. So let me expose myself for just a second so we can just move on from all of the judgmental thoughts. So here we go. First off, yes, I do have lots of jeans that are inside out, so that's awesome. Secondly, everything is completely mismatched from the last time we cleaned out my closet. Clearly, I just can never learn about just keeping things organized, which is why we are here today. Today. Thirdly, yes, we have a mess of uh, just randomness on the floor, including Pokemon cards, which I have no idea why those are there. I think Tristan has something to do with those, so let's just blame him. Fourthly, these shoes are just not aesthetic and cute. We uh, clearly need to fix something about that. And then lastly, I haven't unpacked from my recent Labor Day weekend trip that Tristan and I took to Newport Beach, California. So there's clothes in there too. So we need to uh, unpack that as well. I do also have three dresser drawers that we're gonna have to go through as well because they all look like this. Now now that you got all of those judgmental thoughts out of your head, let's talk about a plan for just making this space look more beautiful. Okay, so honestly on my channel, I have cleaned out my closet two different ways. The first way is what I like to call the ruthless method. And basically what that means is I take every single piece of clothing from my closet and my drawers, throw it on my bed and look at each item one by one to then decide if I want to, of course, donate it, give it away, or sell it on my Poshmark closet. And then obviously put everything back uniformly and and you guys get the gist. The second method is what I like to call the skim method, which is me just going through my closet, not taking anything out, but just picking those pieces that I know I haven't worn this season or I know that I'm not gonna wear for next season. And then of course have a donate pile and a sell pile. Now, last time we did this video was about four months ago and I did do the skim method. So I'm thinking today we're gonna be ruthless. So, with that said, we have quite the task, including me having to unpack my bag. I figured I could do the laundry as I'm cleaning out my closet with you guys to then hopefully be able to put all of these items back in my closet at the end of this video. So everything is just, just clean, just clean and organized. <laughs>
I gotta say, my favorite part about having this Bayes Weekender bag is the mesh compartment that actually is detachable, where I usually stock my shoes, but like I said, I'm a very messy repacker, so there's just a bunch of mush in here, meaning just miscellaneous things. We have my makeup bag that I need to unpack, which we don't need to do that together. We have a tank top in here, which, by the way, show me you use self tanner without showing me you use a self tanner actually it's not too bad but generally my white clothes end up orange by the time i'm done with vacation we have some shoes in here and of course some of my filming equipment that i am so obsessed with essentially this is just my pistol grip that you can slide your phone into and it's just really good for stability and then this item i realize is kind of questionable but it is a try iPod, I promise. When you click this button, it essentially pops out into a really good sized tripod that Tristan and I use when taking pictures so we don't have to ask strangers. And it does come with a little Bluetooth timer. And actually, speaking about content creation, there is one more thing I do wanna show you guys because it has been such a game changer for me. And I think a lot of you are going to like and appreciate it. So let me show you that really quick and then we'll get back to cleaning. We are back in the office because the tool that I want to show you guys is actually on the computer and that is clip.ai. Clip is actually sponsoring today's video which I am so very thankful for because their resource has been such a game-changing time-saving tool for my content creation and I promise it's going to be the same for yours as well. Honestly their header on their website says it all extract viral clips from long videos in a flash that is essentially what it does. So let's take a closer look. I know a lot of you in the past have reached out to me saying that you have YouTube channels too and honestly I think this is the perfect way to recycle your long form already made content into short clips that you can post on different platforms. For example YouTube shorts, Instagram reels, and of course TikTok. Upload or search for your long form videos on Clip's website and Clip will automatically detect the most compelling punchlines using AI technology to make sure that you have the most attention grabbing parts of your video. Clip will not only give you choices of highlights from your video, but you can also use their edit based text feature to include eye popping fonts to gain more views. I am sure a lot of you guys know this about social media, but posting consistently is definitely key. Now, consistency just got easier because with Clip, I no longer have to waste time manually clipping through my long form content. So if you are interested in trying out Clip for yourself, then definitely go to the link in my description box down below. That link will lead you to the website where you can get 120 minutes of free free upload time, and a 14 day free trial. Thank you so much to Clip for not only partnering with me in today's video, but also helping me save time while creating my content. So that way I can focus on other things like cleaning out my closet. And speaking of which, let's get back to it. on how you think about it. Closet is empty. Drawers are empty. Bed is filled. I'm sure you guys have this thought too, but when seeing all of these clothing items on the bed in one space, I honestly think about why in the world I have so many articles of clothing. Obviously, you guys know that my job is centered around clothing and fashion, and that's honestly been a passion of mine forever. But does a girl really need this many pieces of clothing. This is kind of crazy, but we have a lot to go through, so let's start organizing. Yeah. Here's to the good days, here's to the sorrows. If 
this is a mistake I know about tomorrow I don't wanna fight no more Cause I don't feel the need no more, no Just wanna make it stop Maybe it's something in the water Okay, so I started out by just putting away all of my fall dresses because I do have quite a bit of them, but I have been collecting them for such a while to find my perfect fall dress for certain occasions. But I have everything from a casual style t-shirt dress, from a suede dress that I love to wear with turtlenecks. I also have this velvet romper that I have worn for Christmas occasions or just New Year's. Last year, I did stock up on some corduroy dresses. That is definitely my uniform in fall and winter because you can always wear it with a long sleeve thermal or even a turtleneck and it looks awesome with just a pair of booties or even tall boots. So I did end up getting this one from Poshmark. I believe this is an anthropology brand, I want to say. I also ended up getting this one thrifting and and this one is by BDG and I think that is Urban Outfitters but I absolutely adore it. I have another one that is definitely new to the collection. This is by Cezanne. If you know my channel you know I am obsessed with Cezanne and I did end up getting that on Poshmark as well which was such a score and then I have a few other just holiday dresses in the mix so needless to say I am keeping all all of these so let's organize some things that I can actually get rid of. All right so revolutionary thought I'm thinking that all of my summery dresses I'm going to store somewhere else other than my closet. I have always wanted to separate all of my fall and winter pieces with all my spring and summer pieces because why should they be mixing? I'm definitely not going to be wearing this probably until at least next March, April. So I'm thinking I may store these somewhere else but I don't know exactly where. I could do my dresser drawer or I could do my ottoman that sits on the foot of my bed. So let me think about this. What I am thinking is I am going to use one of my dresser drawers for all of my summer dresses. I'm thinking that I'm just going to roll them up and hopefully they'll fit with some of my summer shorts as well. That way this could be like a designated summer drawer. I don't even know if everything will fit but we're going to try it out together. Please let me know in the comments if you do have season separation in your closet. How do you separate your fall and winter clothes from your spring and summer clothes? Do you have like bins in your garage or do you have like bins underneath your bed or something like that? Those were other ideas that I did come across in my mind. This is going to be the plan for now, but I would love other ideas. Oh, and in case you're wondering why all of these are in bags, it is because we ended up dry cleaning all of our clothes after our 20-day Europe trip because let's just say after 20 days of wearing the same thing over and over again, these clothes definitely needed it. So that's why. <laughs> Okay, definitely not too bad. I do still have some shorts and dresses that are actually in the wash from my Newport trip, but I actually think everything should be able to fit within the drawer. So that is taken care of. And I was able to find my first sell purchase, which are these shorts, which actually make me really sad because I did buy them this year. They're from Pilcro from Anthropology. I thought I would wear these all of the time, but I just really didn't. Every time I put them on, I just felt like the pleating made my hips look way too big. So I'm hoping that I will be able to sell these on Poshmark, but these are the first sell items. I'm 
coming at you with some cozy sweaters. We have, of course, my Jenny Kane hoodie. We also have this new crop sweater that I ended up getting from the Nordstrom anniversary sale. Again, that same brand, BDG. I must really like that brand. This is Jenny Kane again from Poshmark. We also have another sweater that I ended up getting at Nordstrom. I am just a sucker for a collar now. And then here comes the dilemma. So I have these two Fisherman cotton Jenny Kane sweaters. And actually I used to have, I think like four of these and now I dwindled it down to two, but I think I want to dwindle it down to one. And I can't decide between the green or like this pumpkin orangey rusty color. I will try it on for you guys. Please, please, please. If you could do me a favor, tell me which one you think looks best and which one you think I should keep because honestly, I don't know. I will also be selling this flannel. I think I got this off of Amazon. It's probably not worth very much, but it is super cute. I just don't really gravitate towards this color. So that's going to be a sell. Something else that's going to be a sell is this Cezanne corduroy and plaid jacket. This again is that Willa style. And sadly, I would love to keep this. I bought it off of Poshmark. It just doesn't fit me because it is an extra small. The shoulders are just a little little bit too tight for me. So some lucky person's going to get this. I'm so jealous. Let's do a fast fire round of tank tops and t-shirts because I was actually able to sort through them. So first up, this pink square neck, definitely a keep. We also have a black square neck, definitely a keep. You're gonna notice a trend here. This is by Cezanne and this is a beautiful dainty blousey top. Definitely keeping that one as well. This one is from Abercrombie and it's not inside out. This apparently is, but anyways, we'll get to that. This is a definitely a keep. We also have this maroon blousey top that is, I believe, from Express, and I haven't worn this in a few years, so I am definitely going to be selling this. We have a new with tag Abercrombie silky satiny <laughs> inside out black square neck that I'm definitely going to be keeping because I just purchased that with Tana. Also inside out, this is that same blousey Cezanne top, but in black. I am going to be keeping that one, and then. And I have this lacy top that is very similar to this one that I will be selling because I don't need both. Okay, now for some t-shirts. This cropped black t-shirt, I think from Abercrombie, yes. Definitely keeping that. I have worn that to death already and I just bought it this summer. This is by Rag and Bone. I will have to uh, turn her inside out, but I am definitely keeping that. This black short sleeve is actually by Aloe. It's kind of twisted, but uh, it is very similar to the Abercrombie and Finch one. But this one actually should be with all of my workout wear because it's for working out. So I'll deal with that later. We have a blonde graphic tee in case I forget what color my hair color is. This I'm going to put with my pajamas because honestly that's what I use it for. This is a thrifted find. I think this is from Lululemon I want to say and this again belongs with all my workout stuff. We have a cropped tee from Super Down and I am definitely going to be keeping that. I flip in love Death Cab for Cutie but for some reason. I just have not worn this this summer, so it's going to be a sell. I feel so bad, but I love you, Death Cab. I promise. I also have this Los Angeles Rebecca Minkoff uh, little graphic tee, and I have gone back and forth putting this in my Poshmark closet, keeping it for myself, putting it back in my Poshmark closet. I think I'm going to keep it for a little bit longer. I just really like this purple color. We also have this white cropped t-shirt, I believe from Cotton Citizen. 
medicine, I want to say. And I am going to be keeping this one. That's great with shorts. I also have this Cezanne. I don't know how to pronounce this, but it is French and it means Aquarius. I'm definitely going to be keeping this as well. We also have this Utah shirt that I got at my bachelorette party, but I don't really wear it too much. So I'm going to be thinking about this. I'll uh, put this in the thinking about pile. Next up, we have a very wrinkly seven uh, tan crop t-shirt that I'm definitely going to be keeping. We have another inside out shirt. This is by Next. And I believe I got this in London and I absolutely love it because of the collar because duh. <laughs> all right, let's put all of these things away and then we'll get to that. I feel like we're at the home stretch and I'm so excited. So the rest of everything is essentially my active wear. We also have some pajamas and then just random pants and skirts and things. So we're gonna go fly through this together. Hopefully we can find more things to sell, but look at all of those hangers on the floor. That makes me just super excited. So let's go through this. This is going to be a sell. This is an aloe yoga yellow crop top. I just never wear this thing. It doesn't really match with any of my leggings. So this is the first sell item. We also have this Hill House dress that I did put within my personal closet, but I wasn't sure if I was going to keep it because I did buy it from the yellow tag clearance sale. I will say it is absolutely stunning, beautiful, but I just don't know if I have anywhere to wear this to. So I I'm thinking I'm going to sell this off and I think I can make a profit on this one. Couple of other things that I am thinking about selling. This one, I am so in between. I wore this for my bachelorette party, but I didn't end up wearing it this summer. I wore it two years ago. So I don't know if I should hold on to it for memory's sake. I don't know, tell me in the comments, is that silly to hold on to something for memory's sake? Ah. Uh, I don't know, I'm iffy about this one. This is gonna be the I need to think about. We have a long sleeve top here, definitely keeping this one. We also have a couple of skirts. I really went hard decluttering my skirts last time we did one of these closet cleanouts, so I'm definitely keeping this skirt. We also have this skirt. And last but not least, we have this one that is upside down, but I think you guys get the gist. We also have a pair of shorts. I've been into tailored shorts recently and I'm so excited to wear these with a pair of tights. Another sell are these BCBG Max Aria pleather joggers. I wore them once in LA, sad to say, and I never wore them again, so feel like that's a sign that I should at least try to sell them. These are so stunningly cute and I'm sad to say I am selling them off. I actually have this exact same pair in the exact same size in a darker color. This is by Cezanne in a size 36 and for some reason the ones that I have in a size 36 fit me but these do not. I got them from Poshmark so they're going back on Poshmark. Let's do our final montage at least with all of these things to put away some of my active wear and just everything that we went over. Hopefully there's nothing else that I'm missing, but if there is as far as selling goes, I will of course let you guys know. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun, side by side our fears are done, all the good times just be all right, so I was still able to find some items that I am going to be selling within my Poshmark closet. This aloe set is so, so cute. I just never ended up wearing it. I have another aloe top, some shorts that are wrinkled that I will obviously be washing and steaming. We have an Under Armour top and a couple of pajama pieces. 
Also, while cleaning out my little shoe rack, I didn't end up finding shoes to sell, but I am going to be selling these purses. This backpack is so cool. I just find myself not really using it. I'm not sure if it's just a little bit too small for me, but I did end up getting this in Florence about four years ago, I want to say. It is genuine Italian leather. The thing that really caught my eye about this backpack in general is it turns into a little shoulder bag. How flipping cool is that? Also, I am going to move on with this laptop bag that I have been using probably for like eight to 10 years. I don't even know if I can sell it because I definitely used it to death, which is why I do need another one. But I'll look into that a little bit later. And here, are the rest of the items I am planning on selling. Before showing you the reveal of the closet, I wanted to show you how many items I was able to get rid of or have listed on my Poshmark closet. And it's just crazy to see how many items I truly didn't end up using or need really. And I counted, there are 28, but I do have some maybes that I may be adding to my Poshmark closet as well. And also, in case you just happen to want anything from here, I will try my best if I do have them listed by the time this video goes out. I will have all of these listings linked in my description box down below just for easy access in case you happen to really like Death Cab for Cutie, which I don't blame you if you do, but you guys get the gist. So here is everything that is officially out of my closet. And here is officially everything that is in my closet. Guys, this looks so much better. I realize this could be a lot of clothes still to some of you, or this can be a moderate or average amount to others of you. For me, this is awesome, especially because a lot of these pieces I wear in the spring, summer, and the fall and winter. So I'm just really happy with all of the items I was able to get moved out out of my closet. And not gonna lie, there's still work to be done in this closet, but we'll get to that another day. Well, guys, that is officially everything. Still sipping on my Celsius, by the way. Like I said, I hope this video has been inspiring to some of you to maybe just take a peek in your closet to see what things truly don't make you happy because apparently none of these things really make me that happy. And a quick thank you to Clip for sponsoring today's video. If you are interested in trying out Clip yourself, then definitely use my link in the description box down below. That link will get you 120 minutes of free upload time and a 14 day free trial. With that said, I can't believe it. I just checked the time and it is 2 p.m., which is crazy because I started this video at 9 a.m. and I am still in my lounge set. So with that said, I think I'll go change into normal clothes and do something other than being in my master bedroom and closet. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up on your way out and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys. Thank you.